to the art party. I am so excited to create art with you today. I am Georgie. If you are joining us, then let me know who you are. Put your name in the comments. How old are you? Have you been joining us all week? Maybe you were here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today, that is four times. Wow, if you are here for the fourth time. I am so excited to create this little fun guy with you today. I know Ava is here, Eddie, Amelia, and Igby is here. So fantastic. Liana, there are so many names that I keep seeing coming up, and I know your artwork. Hey there, Savannah and Ava's fourth time. We have Jake and Laura, Kashab, Liana, Ishka is here. Um, Liana's third time today. I remember your artwork, Liana. We have Agam, who is its first time in this lesson today. So it's so fun to welcome new people. Levi and Chloe have been here four times. I, I think you guys should be having like a huge art gallery, putting all the artwork up on your walls. Diara is here. We have Jacob, Chloe, um, Chloe Adith is here. Charlotte McKenzie Austin for the fourth time. Hey, Levi from Bendigo, so excited you're here. Pranil is here and Evie too, Evie from Perth. Wow, guys, I can't wait to get started on our toucan. We're just going to welcome people. If you are joining us, put your name in the comments. Tell me how old you are. Aman, Gabby, Sarah, Elijah, Irina. Well done for your art yesterday, Irina. Jayton and Kashab. We have Kira and Chloe. Well done for starting the week with creativity. This is the first week of 2021. And I am so impressed that you guys have chosen to wake up every morning and create art. It means that we're totally, totally going to get off to a beautiful, beautiful year. We're going to have a good year and we're starting it strong. So we have Liliana and we have Arabella, Shayla, Evie from Sydney, Kiara as well, or Kira, sorry. Hey there, Bailey. I cannot wait to start our fun project. And the reason is it has been gloomy, gloomy, gloomy weather in Melbourne all week this week. Hey, Archie and Henry back again in Marshall. And today is the first day in Melbourne where I'm from that the sun has come out. And the sun means that we can do something beautiful and tropical like our beautiful toucan over here. He is super fancy. He comes from a very hot tropical climate where it's sunny all the time. So it makes sense that we are going to be drawing and painting him today. Hey there, Joel. Hey, Ethan. Aston, Al, Aldrin and uh, from Adelaide. We have Catherine and Sophie. So guys, I think this week you have learned so many skills throughout the week. We did Cupcakes Monday. We did Turtles on Tuesday with oil pastels and watercolour. Yesterday was one of my favourites. Was it your favourite? Because we did Party Poppies. And I am going to show you some of the amazing Party Poppies that you sent me throughout the lesson. I'm going to show them because I was so impressed with the creativity and the imagination that you included in your backgrounds. We learn about cityscapes, but some of you included totally different scenes of gardens, um, of rainbows. It was beautiful to see. <laughs> Liana said she did three, three copies of the party pooch. So we have Maisie, Poppy, Kitty, and Archie here again. We have Katie and Tori. And they've added a friend, Tyson. Hey there, Tyson. It is really great that you guys can create together with your brothers and sisters all on the same table. Or you just get in all your friends as well and you guys can just create and get ideas off each other. It's kind of fun. Hey, Jonathan. Okay. Giselle is here too. So, guys, I'm going to go through all of the supplies that we need today. And I'm going to give you a few options in case you don't have the watercolours. Hello, Ruby. So here I go. And this is what we need. Behind me is my A3 artwork um, paper, and it's in the tall position. All week we have created in the wide position. You might know what that is called. Do you have any ideas? Hi, Ruby, Jake, and Lucy. The wide position of the paper 
is called landscape. The tall position of the paper is called portrait. So our last two artworks are in the portrait position. I am going to be using my watercolour palette today. This is one of my favourites. And I really recommend if you don't have this at home, then you go out after today or this week and you find one of these. I got mine from Officeworks. So you can also get it from a place called zartart.com. I love it. It is so easy to use. So I'm using my watercolours. A lot of you guessed what I said about being in a portrait position, so well done. Okay, I'm also going to be using my oil pastels. So they are going to be a great combination. Oil pastels and watercolours together. And then I have my medium round paintbrush. Can you see the tip of this paintbrush? Can you see how it's pointy? That's the one I like to paint with. So if you have a pointy paintbrush, Grab that out. If you don't have that, then you can use whatever you've got. Now, if you do not have watercolour paints, this is what I suggest that you do. You could use your Sharpie marker for the outlines. You could use crayons. You could use colour pencils. Or you could use markers. So there are your options if you don't have watercolour paints. Hi, Charlotte. And hi there from Cruise this year as well. So... We are ready with all of our supplies. If you don't have oil pastels, the perfect solution for that is to use crayons. Crayons work really well with watercolour. Okay, you guys can show me that you're ready by holding up your black oil pastel. If you don't have the oil pastel, use a crayon. If you don't have that, use a black marker. So I'm using my black colouring tool. Now, I want to show you a few toucans. I forgot. I'm going to show you a toucan before we get started. Let's just have a look. Here is our artwork that we are going to do today. And you will see a picture of a toucan on a screen. Look how beautiful that toucan is. It is obviously black, but look at all the other colors. Isn't that beautiful to have like a little um, yellow kind of crested part of the body and so many colors in the bill so these two cans the bill of the two can i read is it it's about six times as big as the head so we gotta draw a big bill or a big beak for our two can today now here is another picture of a two can you can see this one has a really orange and yellowy red colored beak or bill and it's got a little white part on its body so you could do either of those today. They would both look really fun. Okay, let's go back and we are totally going to start. I'm grabbing my black oil pastel right now. And I am ready. Here I go. The first thing I am going to do is put maybe three fingers down from the top. Three or four fingers down from the top and just put a little dot because here is where we're going to start the eye of our toucan. Okay, here we go. I am going to draw a big circle. This is going to be the eye, and then inside that, I am going to draw a smaller circle and colour it in. So I have a big toucan eye. You can see that we're kind of going to put paint around the pupil. Now let's go ahead and draw the beak. So the first line for the beak is next to the eye. It's a straight line just like this. Then I want you to use your finger and we're going to kind of just draw the outline of the beak first. And it's going to get almost to the edge of the page. Here I go. I'm going straight across, straight across, and then I'm going to come down. Then I'm going to come back up to the other end of my little line. So I'm going almost to the edge. We've got to make these big. The bigger, the better. Here I go. Across, across, across. I'm coming down. I'm turning around and back. My beak, <laughs> it's huge. They are six times as big as the toucan's head. So the bigger, the better. Okay. My finger is coming out again. I love to practice where my line is going to go with my finger. So watch me. I'm going to start up here. I'm going to do the head. I'm going up, up, up around I'm coming down from the bottom of the body and then I'm coming back up 
So can you do that with your finger first? Here it is, I'm going up, and then I'm coming down past the eye, my little line's going out a bit, I'm curving around, and then coming back up. So this is the line I just did, up, around, and then back up. It's an important line, so let's go do it together. Here I go, up, I'm coming around, I get a little bit wider. Can you see this? I'm getting wider for his body. I'm coming back up to meet the beak. We did the body. That is all there is to the body. Let's put two little feet on the bottom of our toucan. So these are really tiny. They're two little strokes. One stroke out to the left, a little one out to the right, and then I can join it up. He's gonna kind of sit on a little branch. So I'm gonna do one next door, two strokes, one longer stroke out to one end, a little stroke out to the other, and then a curved line joining them up. So let's go ahead and put a little branch for our toucan to sit on. I'm going to start at the edge, and I'll come across, I'll jump over my feet, and then it's going to be a small branch. It will stop just here, and then I can do a wobbly, wobbly, wobbly line all the way back. doesn't have to be straight. Because here we're going to put some flowers, so we don't want our branch too long. Okay, what do you think is missing for our toucan? There are a few things missing. Can you see from my example what you think it is? If you have guessed it, <laughs> we got to add a tail. Now, here's a tip. If your toucan is too far to the bottom of the page, then your tail is going to go all the way off. Okay? If your toucan is sitting up here, then you could fit a really long tail. And someone said the belly. Correct, we're gonna do the belly as well. So here we go for the tail. I'm gonna start here, just at the bottom of the toucan. I'm gonna jump over the um, branch. I'm coming down. I'm just gonna fit him in. I'm just gonna come back up, and then I'm going back up, and my little line gets hidden behind the feet there. So I kind of like this idea of putting some color in our tail. So if you like that, you could do another little shape. It's like a big long U in the tail, just like that. So that means we're gonna paint that a different color. If you guessed the tail, the second thing was the belly. So this is kind of fun because you get to choose if you wanna do a white belly or like a yellow belly or whatever color that you like. So this is the same sort of shape as the body, but smaller. I'm gonna start at the eye. I'm coming down, turning a corner like a big long U, and then I'm just gonna come back up. Okay, now there are, there are two more little bits that I need to include on my toucan with my black oil pastel. Can you see what they might be? And can you see where I might put them? Where is on my toucan, that I need to color with my black oil pastel. Can you see it? Because I'm just gonna move my oil pastel closer to where I need to put it. You'll be able to tell, here I go. There's this line. All the toucans have this like black section at the end of the beak. So let's draw that curved line at the end of the beak and then color it in. So if you're using a crayon, you color this in. If you're using a Sharpie, or a marker, you color that in black. And then I'm gonna put a little dot here, or a little circle, because that's like the almost like the nostril on the beak. I think that's what that's called. Good job for people guessing, nose and nostril. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the outline of my toucan. He's a kind of simple toucan, but I think with all of these extra details, it is going to look really fun. So if you are finished with that one, let's put our black coloring tool back in its box or wherever it came from. And now you have some choices. Grab a color, <laughs> any color. Just go into your little oil pastel crayon box and grab a color. You know how tricky it is for me to choose colors because I love everything. I'm gonna go with a purple. Do you know what we're gonna do next? We are heading over here. 
we are going to be drawing flowers and some citrus fruit so these flowers are tropical flowers and this kind of reminds me of summer all the fun lemons and oranges and grapefruits that you can get so that's what we're going to draw so here i go <clears throat> in the corner let's all head down to the corner grab a color and we'll do a flower so i'm going to start in the middle of my flower i'm going to come up and around for a petal and i'm just going to continue that till i finish my flower so they're like teardrop shapes up down around and back out around and back out around and back so I've got one little flower there. And with my oil pastel, if you want to, you can do a few strokes. So I'm just gonna do like a few little strokes in each of these little petals. Maybe one, two, one, two, one, two. This is just a little bit of a detail on our flower. One, two, one, two. Okay. If you have heaps of room, you're gonna add more. I'm going to add one more. So I'm going to put this down. I'm going to get a different color and I'm going to choose a pink. <clears throat> and actually, I'm going to choose an orange and maybe I'll keep the pink for my fruit. So I've got an orange and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm just going to bring this a little closer. Here we go. If you, you can use crayons for the flowers. Great question. Because if you did this in a Sharpie marker, um, you can definitely use something colorful like crayons for the flowers. Okay, let's do another flower here. So I'm just moving up a little bit. Here I go. Up, around, and back. Up, around. I'm going to jump over the little branch here. Up, around, and back. So I'm going ahead doing another flower. And I can fit one more petal in just there. And I'm going to go ahead and do my strokes. Stroke and stroke stroke and stroke a few strokes just like this a few strokes there we go so my flowers i i have two quite big flowers so after i've done my flowers i'm going to move over and try some of these fun fruits i think that could look really colorful so i might choose a let's see i'm going to choose a pink because mine is like a grapefruit, which is like a pink on the inside. So these fruits are super easy. We're going to switch around our colors quite a lot today. So if you are ready, you can choose another color. And you know what, guys? I want you to know that any position of your flowers and your fruit, they can go anywhere around your toucan. They don't have to go exactly where mine are. But if you want to follow me, here I go. I'm just going to create a circle around 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 and obviously i can't go here because my flowers are in the way so once i have my circle i'm going to use my crown to make my little wedges of my fruit if you cut your fruit like in half this is what it would look like i'll start in the middle of my circle i'm going to go up and have a curve line and then go back like a little wedge. So let's do it again. From the center, I'm going to go up, curve my line, then go back. I'm going to go up, curve my line, then go back. I cannot see all of the wedge just here. It's just got a tiny V. And maybe I'm only going to see a little bit of this one, a little bit of that one as well. So I have citrus fruit number one. I'm just having a look if I can fit another one. And I think here, you can see here, I did fit another one. But I think here, maybe I'm going to put a leaf. I'm going to put some green. Okay, let me see. If you want to go ahead and put a leaf, <laughs> then you can choose a green color. And let's see if this could fit. It might be a really nice position. Here I go. I'm going to go a curve line up and then the curve line back. I'm going to put a middle line just like that and then I'm going to put some lines from the middle out, middle out, middle out, just like the veins on the leaves, middle out just like this, just from the middle going out towards the end of the leaf. 
So I have some veins on my leaf. Okay. So you have done a flower, a leaf, and a piece of fruit. I want you to go ahead and put up here any of those, any of those that you can fit. So you might have more space that you can fit more. I want you to try to make them kind of big. So they got to be almost as big as your fist. That's a good size. And I'm going to go ahead and put some more up here. So I think what I want to do is use my orange and I'm going to put another piece of fruit. So I'm going to draw a circle and it's coming off the edge of the page. See that? I could continue, but it's off the edge of the page. And I'm going to do my little wedges. So if you are doing a piece of fruit, find the center and let's go out, have a bit of a curve line and then come back. We'll do that again. Out, a bit of a curve line and back. Let's keep going. I want to go out, curve line and back. And then obviously I can't see all of these little sections. They're going off the page. That one looks kind of fun. Now I'm having just a little bit of a think of what I could put next. I'm thinking I'm going to put a leaf here because it kind of moves in a really long shape. I think that would look great. And then over here, I might do a little um, piece of fruit on the corner. So let's go. I'm going to go ahead and grab my green and I'm going to do my leaf coming out from my fruit. I'm going in a curved line. I'm coming back with my curved line. I've got a middle line in my leaf and then lines from the center going out towards the outside, just like the veins you will see on a leaf. There we go. Out, out, out. <clears throat> now, guys, what I want you to know is when you put your hand on your black oil pastel, it's going to smudge and you're going to get a black hand. So try not to do that, okay? If you have, get a baby wipe or wipe it off so you don't get black marks on your artwork. All right, I'm going to go ahead again with my pink and put up here another piece of fruit. And someone said butterflies. I never even thought of butterflies, but that is beautiful. That's why I love drawing art with you guys because you have the most imagination of anybody. Anybody. The perfect people to teach art to is your age group because you guys think of so many different things. Okay. <clears throat> Here I go with the wedge inside my little fruit, starting at the middle, line up, curve, and back. And starting in the middle with my line, curve line and back, and I'm just kind of putting in what I might be able to see. The other parts are going off the edge. So, boys and girls, I have filled my page right now with a whole lot of outlines with my oil pastel. Do you know what time it is? It is time to just have a look and see if we can fit anything else. Can we fit anything else? And I'm finding that a lot of interest is over here. Can you see all of this in interest and detail? What's over here? It's not a lot. So it doesn't look balanced and really beautiful art generally looks really balanced. The same, there's enough, um, there's more detail needs to be over here. So let's see, I'm just going to add a leaf here. And it's a really long one and it's definitely coming off the page but I can do my little middle line and some strokes and let me see what this looks like do I need anything else I could maybe even add a tiny little leaf here I think that could be fun so if you have some space where you could add um, any more leaves or flowers then that's what I want you to do. I'm adding a leaf in this corner with my middle line and my veins in the leaf. Okay, do you think that looks more balanced to you? So I've got details here up the top and on the side. They're going all around. So I hope that that's what you're filling your page with. Somebody's going to go ahead and put a sun 
on theirs, which is a great idea. Now, I am finished with these. So when I'm finished, I'm going to pack them away. You may as well do that now if you are done. And we are about to go ahead into our little artist shout outs. But I think we might paint our toucan first and then we will do those. I'm going to show a whole heap of party puppies from yesterday. Okay. So what I'm going to do is going to, I'm going to go ahead with my black to paint my toucan. And I just want to give you a heads up. I'm using some water here. But I have another one. I've got two little cups of water. So you're going to have to refresh your water because our black is going to make it really muddy. And then we're going to have to clean it out. So if you need another jar of water, you go ahead and grab that now. And I am ready to start with my paintbrush and my black. So here I go. I've got water on my paintbrush and I'm spinning it around my black. Now, do you know black, it is super dark and you don't need a lot of paint on your paintbrush. If you are finding that um, you're not getting a great color, this is what I want you to do. I want you to spin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we paint. That's a good amount of color. Okay, here I go with my black. This is the only black in our artwork, and you remember what we do with our artwork um, when we're painting. I'm going around the shape first. I'm getting to here, and my, my stroke's getting a little hairy, so I need more water. <clears throat> I need a bit more paint, and then I am going to go around the outside again. So I'm nice and slow, and you can see my brush strokes are kind of smooth when I do it like this. They're nice and smooth there. I'm going to dip in the little water just a little bit, a little bit. We don't want too much water. And then I'll go around the shape here as well. And then I can be a little speedy when I fill it in. So if you are ready, I want you to go ahead, grab your paints or maybe you're coloring with um, pencils or crayons today. I want us to do the toucan, the black, and also um, the tail, which is black as well. So now I can be a little bit speedy because I've got almost like the outlines. I want to be really careful that I don't paint in his little belly. So like always, you gave me some fantastic fun names for your turtles and your party pictures. So we got to call these something fun as well, our tropical toucan. What do you think? would be a fun name for your toucan. You can be thinking about that while you are doing painting. And I am just going to go ahead and finish off his little body just now, and then I might move down to his tail. So I might call mine, <clears throat> I might call mine Tutti. Tutti, the tropical toucan. I think that sounds kind of fun. I know you guys will come up with some super fun names as well. And the, the other thing that you can think about is what kind of colors do you want to do on his beak? Because we saw a few examples. Some were orange and then some were like green and yellow and red. All right, I've already got a few names. <clears throat> Sunny, the toucan, and then we have Tilly the forest toucan. So these toucans that we are drawing today, a lot of them live in Mexico, I'm pretty sure. Um, and they also are from far, um, jungles in the uh, south, north, south America, the jungles from South America. So they are super, super tropical around. Um, they're not called, they're not actually from forests. That's a little different. They're from um, jungles, the same places where you might find jaguars and other beautiful, amazing creatures. Okay, um, someone said they're also from Hawaii. That sounds fun. I've never been to Hawaii. <laughs> so you know better than me. 
<clears throat> some of them, someone's called this Coco. Such a great name. Okay. <clears throat> the reason that we did black first is have a look. My water is has gone black. So we need to wash it. Go get rid of your black water and refill. And you're going to have to wash your brush because we want to get all the black off. Get it off, get it off. We do not want a paintbrush full of black paint. So you might even need to have a little refresh. So I'm going to grab some water and I've got a jar here and I'm just going to refresh it with fresh water. Okay, we have Gabby has called hers Trilly and Tooty. That's a cool name. What a fun name. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start painting the belly. So remember from the examples, you could paint the belly from our toucan examples, maybe white. Well, you wouldn't paint it white. You'd just leave it white. Um, or if you want to paint it a color, maybe you could go ahead and paint it yellow. So you got to make sure that your black paint is off your paintbrush if you want to use a yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and put some yellow in the belly of my toucan. Arabella's toucan is called Kiwi. And her mom is doing the lesson and she has called her, ta her um, toucan Targo. <laughs> Be probably because it's from Mexico. That is such a fun name. Here I go with my yellow belly. So I know some of you are going to have different colors. But this toucan is one of those, I think they're called, oh, I can't remember the exact name of the toucan, but it has a yellow belly and a really colourful bill. Some of them also have white belly, so it's up to you. Go ahead and start painting the belly of your toucan. Okay, now here you can do whatever colour that you like. So I'm going to go ahead and do some... Uh, orange, I think. I'm going to go ahead and do an orange. Now, guys, if we are being really speedy in today's lesson, don't worry because I'm about to stop and give you a little break while I go through our party puppies from yesterday. And when I'm doing that, you can keep painting. So here I go with my little orange section of my tail here. And because I have orange on my paintbrush, I'm going to paint his little feet orange as well. We have Tropicana. What a fun name, Tropicana. And we have a belly that is peach. So someone's done a peachy colour. That would look great as well. Anything really bright and colourful in this artwork is just going to look fantastic. Okay. There is one more section that I want to do before we do the little artist shout outs, and that's his eye. So I'm washing my paintbrush, and here I go. I'm going to grab a bit of green. I'm going to do the around his eye green. <clears throat> In my example over there, I did it blue. So whatever kind of color that you would like, choose something bright and fun, and let's just paint this here. Now, guys, if your colours are a little bit muddy and they're not so bright, it means that you haven't got all the black off your paintbrush. So definitely spend some time just getting some fresh water and just cleaning all the black off your paintbrush. There is a really fun name that's just come through and it's called Mango. So somebody has called the toucan Mango, which I think is super fun. Okay, I am just now painting my little eye green and then I'm going to go ahead and do our shout outs. All right, does that look great? I think he looks fun <laughs> and he looks super tropical. So I'm just going to put my paintbrush down and you guys keep continuing with your painting. And let's just have a look at some of these party puppies from yesterday. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? We have Nova and Avalyn, and I just love how they have used their white oil pastel and their black paint to create that cityscape. I can see all of the white oil pastel lines, so they follow the steps perfectly. I also love those bright colours, rainbow colours, 
you've used Avalyn for the um, floor of your little party pooch. Okay, we have Tilly, Joshua, and Joanna. Now, these guys did something completely different in the background. I love how your imagination just went wild with this project. And we have rainbow floors. We have a crocodile on Joshua's. There's some flags on Tilly's and some fun balloons and a city with a sky for Joanna. Well done, you three. Here we have Lucy and Joel. Now, Lucy has done so many details of trees and bushes for this garden scene. Well done. And Joel has used his white oil pastel, but he's also used yellow for the cityscape behind. And they just shine out so well with the black paint. Well done, Joel. Your puppy looks so colourful and fun as well. Here is Piper and Annika. Now, these girls did so many details on their little puppy's blanket. I love seeing all of those extra small details and the puppy looks so big on your page, which is really great to see. Now we have three boys here. We have Levi and Archer and Jake, and these little puppies are all wearing different hats. Levi did a Santa's hat, and I really love the road behind yours, Levi. You have a little shadow for your puppy, which is super fun. I think that Archer did such a great party hat on his puppy with some balloons as well, and you did a great job coloring there, Jake. Well done for the little crown on your puppy as well. So it was so fun to see so many poppies coming through. They looked fantastic. How are you going with your painting? I'm going to grab another water jar. Just give me one second. Because you know what? <laughs> I need some fresh water. I think I didn't clean my brush so well. And I can tell because my paint is not as bright as I want it to be. All right. So we have Toka is another name for the toucan. Have you guys thought of a name? And it's time to color in the bill. So there are some people who are finishing off their belly, which is fun. And I want you to just have a look at how we might do our bill. Now, there really is not a wrong way to do this. But what you might find with watercolors is that they kind of blend in when they're wet. So if you don't want them to blend in, make sure you don't paint on top of another color. But I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of a yellow. I think if they do blend in, then it's totally fine because these colors work really well together. So I'm doing a bit of a yellow. And then I might do some green because I saw one of the bills on our toucan was a lot of green. Okay, we have a fun fruity toucan. That's his name. He's called Fruity. And another one is called Poppy. All right, here I go with my green. And I don't mind them blending. So I'm just going over the top of where my yellow is as well. I'm putting some green on. And let's see, maybe next I might do a little bit of blue. Should I do blue or maybe red? Whatever color that you like. I think that I might do a bit of red. And then the last bit, if I can fit it, I'm going to do orange. Now, remember that there was another toucan that had just an orange bill. It was all orange. So if you prefer that, you can definitely do orange. So I'm doing a really light um, or a thin line of red, just like that, across my toucan's bill. It's really wobbly. I did a really wobbly line there. Okay, I'm rinsing out my brush for the last part. I'm going to try an orange line for the last part of my bill. Okay, we have Tommy the Toucan from Charlotte. And I am excited to see all the different colors that come through with all of our toucans as well. My little line here for my bill is going to be orange. So did you choose orange for your whole bill maybe? Or maybe you had a different color scheme. I really like that. So I went yellow, green, red, then orange. Okay. So now that my toucan is done, I want to know where are you up to? 
Are you up to doing the flowers? Are you ready to do the fruit? Or if you did some butterflies, let me know in the comments, is your toucan finished? Because if it is, let's go ahead and grab a color and we'll start one at a time. So I did a purple outline for my flower. Um, and I could use purple, but what about, I might try a pink. So I'm going to draw a pink uh, or paint pink inside my purple flower. And it's really easy. I'm just grabbing a bit of paint on my brush. I am going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I'm going to paint. Now, someone said, What about the branch? That is a good question. I'm going to leave the branch to last because it's a really dark brown and I don't want to make my water all muddy and different, like a dark, dark color. So I'm going to choose my branch um, at the end or paint my branch at the end after I've done my flowers and after I've done like my fruit and leaves. But if you want to go ahead and do your branch, you can. So I have a pink flower here. And what I am painting is straight over the top of all these oil pastel lines. I don't even mind to go over the top of them because they're like magic. They see through. <clears throat> okay, so once I have a bit of a pink flower, I'm going to have a think about what color I should do next. Somebody is doing the beak and someone's still on the black, which I think is fine. Totally just have a look at what we are doing next because it is super fun and easy just to have a look and then you can imagine yourself doing it as well. For my paint palette, can you see this row of colors on my paint palette? They're fluoro. It's just the best color palette to have because it's got metallic and it's also got fluoro paints. So I'm going to use this fluoro orange and I'm going to use that for this little flower here. And you can kind of see how bright it is. So this paint palette is a really fun one to have. And I'm excited to see what kind of details you surrounded your toucan with. Did you put fruit? Someone put butterflies? Maybe you did different shaped flowers. It is going to look, everyone is, is going to look totally different. And I can't wait to see them all and put them all together. I think they're going to look so fab. You guys will be up to maybe even four artworks from this week. So at the end of the lesson, I want to ask, where are you going to put them all? Where are you going to put all of your beautiful artworks from this week? I bet you will run out of room for sure. Okay. Now, guys, what kind of colors did you do your beak? We have Kira did her beak yellow, green, and blue. Wow, Kira, what a great, great idea. Okay, someone did sunflowers on their artwork. That is awesome as well because you could do them really bright yellow. They would look gorgeous. Okay, here I go with some yellow. Um, maybe this little fruit is going to be a lemon. I outlined it in pink, but I'm going to paint it yellow and it could be like a lemon so here i go i am painting this one in yellow and if i want to do a different color for the little segments inside i can do that or i could paint the whole thing yellow someone did their beak yellow orange and red hey they are great colors and i wonder yellow orange and red do you know what we call those colors can anyone tell me, what do we call the colors yellow, orange, and red? They come from a family of colors that have a name. And I am interested to know, do you know what we call colors like yellow, orange, and red? Okay, someone did blue and green. Yes, you are correct, Faith. They are called warm colors. Well done. Or someone said hot kind of close yellow orange and red are called warm colors 
because they are close together on the color wheel and they're colors you would associate with heat or summer or fire or the sun. Okay, here's another question for you. What colors would you, what are some examples of cool colors? Give me some examples of cool colors. What would they be? Can you tell me what are some examples of cool colors? They are the opposite to warm. What do you think that they could be? I am interested to know because this is a little bit of color theory that we're happening right now. Now I'm just painting this leaf green and I'm gonna help go ahead and paint these two leaves green as well. What are some examples? Okay, we have purple, blue, green, ice blues, purple, green, um, blue, absolutely, you have got it. Cool colors are purples, blues, greens, bluey greens, aqua, turquoise, all of those colors. And you can see we're going to put those in our background. Nice work, everybody. Okay, now let's go ahead and keep painting. I'm going to paint my little leaves green. And we have a whole lot of blue, greens, and purple answers coming through. And aqua, that's it. That is correct. So they're colors that you would um, come to mind when you think of winter um, or the ocean or being cold. That's it. Now, someone said, what is brown? Is brown a warm color or a cool color? Brown is actually a warm color because it's, it's made from an orange. So if you kind of put orange and sometimes a little bit of black, you can kind of get a bit of a brown. So brown is more of a warm color. Now someone did a rainbow beak. Well done. And I am going to go ahead here and just finish off this leaf. Now guys, where are you up to in your painting? I have realized that I've gone kind of quick with my background. All right, so let me have a little check in. Where are you guys up to? Because after we've done our um, fruit or our leaves or our flowers, there is not a lot to finish off with our background. So we have some people up to the beak. So you guys are doing a really neat job, I bet, with all of those colors on the beak. So what I want you to do is jump over to the background right now. And I want you to start on the flowers or the leaves, whatever you are up to, that's important. We get to this part before we do the background. Okay, let's have a look. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this last little leaf and I'm using a green. I'm finding this light green that I've got, I'm having to spin my paintbrush quite a few times, at least 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to get a really good color. So if you're using a light color, that's my, maybe what you're going to have to do. And remember, you can just go around the outside nice and slow and then fill it in a little bit speedy. Okay, so I think I have two more bits of fruit and then a branch, and then I can jump over to the background. So let's have a go at doing that. I have got pinks and I've got a yellow here. So maybe this one could be a, um, an orange or even this red. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a red for my little fruit at the top. And if you are up to this, then I want you to go ahead and choose a really bright, fun, tropical color. And you can paint over the top of your oil pastel lines. You can paint over the top of the little segments as well. Um, you don't have to separate them like me, but I think maybe I'm going to paint my little segments orange. And then the outside of my fruit is this pink or this red. Okay, how are we going? Someone said they put a crown on the head of their toucan, like it's a, a royal toucan in the jungle. I can't wait to see all of these toucans called these funny names. And guys, do you know tomorrow is the last day of the art party? We have come to the end of the week. I cannot believe we are already at the end. So I've got something special to tell you tomorrow of how you can keep painting with me 
if you want to keep painting next week. I think you might really enjoy some more projects and they are happening inside the art club. Okay, here I go. I'm painting this one green. So this is like a bit of a lime up here just like that and then I'm going to paint the inside sections of that maybe this light green I can't wait to hear all of the amazing colors you're using have you got heaps and heaps of bright rainbow colors I am excited to see them and these two cans are just going to look so fancy in your collection of artworks <laughs> I have my branch. I am ready for my branch. Now, where are you putting all your artworks? Can I just show you this? I have a hook right here. It's a plastic hook. It goes to another one. And then I have a piece of string and all of my artwork is pegged up. So that is a really fun way to display your artwork. You just buy some plastic hooks with some string and you peg it up on the wall. So if you have some some um, wall space, I really recommend you doing that and putting your artwork up on display. Okay, I am ready with my brown. Are you doing your brown as well? Because we need to finish off our little branch and then we are going to get to the background. So I'm going to show you a, a few different ways or a different way to do your background. Uh, we're not painting one solid colour for this artwork. I am going to show you a different way that you can paint your background. All right, my, my toucan is looking very fancy sitting on his branch and I am about to start the background. Can you have a look at this? Look at this dirty water. It is not going to be great for my background, so I'm going to wash my brush <clears throat> and I definitely need some fresh water. So let's see, I'm gonna pour this out and get some fresh water. If you have dirty water, go clean it right now. I want you to have fresh water for the next part. So tip that out, let's get some fresh. Often when you use watercolor, then you definitely need to kind of have a few water jugs on the go, or you have to keep refreshing it to make it nice and clean. So here I go with my fresh water and I'll give you a couple of seconds just to go grab some fresh water. And now what I want you to think about is if you have a lot of warm colours in your artwork or with your flowers and your fruit. So the warm colours are like yellow, red and orange. I've got quite a few here and some up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose cool colours for the background, for the sky because I want these warm colors to stand out. And if I use cool colors, that's what will happen because they are opposite. All right, I am ready to finish off my painting. I've got some, wa I've got some water on my paintbrush and I'm gonna go into a blue. Now I told you I am not gonna paint the whole background with one solid color. This is what I'm going to do, are you ready? I've got some blue, I'm going around 10 times, and here I go. I'm just gonna do some strokes. Stroke, I'll start here. Stroke, stroke, stroke with my little paintbrush. Stroke, stroke, stroke around my toucan. So I'm not painting all one color, I'm just filling the background with some strokes. Stroke, stroke, stroke around my toucan. I can go up around his head. Stroke, stroke, stroke. And what we're doing is we're taking away the white with some blue strokes. But we're not painting it all blue. It's a much more interesting way to paint a background. So here I go. I'm going stroke, stroke, stroke. Now, if you're using crayons or if you're using color pencils, you can color it all in blue if you want to. And I am just gonna go ahead and keep doing this with my strokes. Um, if you have done a bit of everything, um, all different colors with your leaves and your flowers, then I think blues are still a really nice color to use for the background because it's like a blue sky. 
okay so blues are still really nice to use even if you've got lots of rainbow details here i go i'm still doing strokes stroke 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 and these can go in all of the small sections so where i can't get in very easily i just do a tiny little stroke and i'm just taking away the white so the white is disappearing but i'm putting blue strokes there instead all the way around now if you want to dive into a bit of purple blue and purple strokes would look great together so here i go i'm going to go ahead with some purple and i will put those in as well and you have now learned a new technique of finishing off your artwork and using this for the background a whole lot of strokes often you probably normally just paint the whole thing one color but i'm wondering what you think do you like this a little better it's a little faster because you don't have to paint so much so here i go some more strokes and i'm nearly finished but you just want to be careful around all the little details that you have created just around the edges of the flowers and around the little tail right now. Now, if you have some that have dried, some here have dried already. So I might even go over the top in a few of those little gaps with some purple strokes. And so you can do quite a few different layers, but you've got to wait till it's dry, just a few minutes before, um, so that it's dry when you do layer number two. I am so excited to see your artwork because I'm pretty happy with this toucan i think it looks so fancy and colorful i think the white and the yellow they both look kind of cool so whatever you did remember to post it in the comments so we can see and we can celebrate you and it's our last chance for artist shout outs tomorrow i wish i could shout out every single one but we just don't have time because you all have done a beautiful job all right Boys and girls, I was about to say ladies and gentlemen, but you are boys and girls. <laughs> I have finished my toucan. My toucan is called Tutti, the tropical toucan. You guys have sent me such fun names. I am now washing my paintbrush. So if you are done, do not leave the table until you have cleaned up. I'm washing, washing, washing my paintbrush. He's going to be stored upright in a jar so he keeps nice and pointy. And I have the lid just here for my watercolor paints. So you can get these from Officeworks or you can get them from Zada. They're so handy with this little lid. Now, guys, are you finished? Are you finished your toucan? And are you ready <laughs> to see what we are doing tomorrow? If you are ready, I'm going to jump over here and I am going to show you our project for tomorrow and what you need. So here we go. Tomorrow is our cool as uh, cucumber pineapple or it's a cool pineapple. So you guys get to design the fun little sunglasses. You might put a, a beach umbrella or a little flamingo in your to, um in your pineapple's hair is it called hair i'm not even sure but we are using let me see that is not the materials we are using do not look listen to those we are going to be using markers a sharpie marker and crayons that's what we're using we're not using paint tomorrow now guys if you have had a really fun time this week I want to remind you to go on Instagram and enter this competition because I run an art club. And if you want to keep creating every single week in our art club, we have new projects every week and you might be able to win a membership to the art club. So go ahead and jump over into that competition. We're going to draw it tomorrow. And if you want to go ahead and join, then have a look at the website and you will find amazing projects that you could do straight away in the art club. I'm also running Zoom classes for term one. They are very, very similar to what we are doing in these lessons. So if you want to jump on Zoom um, each week during term one, that's where you can find it. All right. 
I am going to say see you later, but I want you to keep finishing off your toucan. Sometimes when I'm doing my lesson, I get really speedy. So if you are still creating or painting the flowers or the leaves, then you are doing just such a wonderful job and I know you're taking your time and doing it so super detailed and careful. So I cannot wait to see your artwork. Take a little photo, put it in the comments because I always reply to as many as I can. I try to get to every single person. All right, I'm going to see you tomorrow for our Cool as Pineapple. It's going to be super funky. I cannot wait till then. I will see you later. Bye.